Hi, uh, I'm sure when you were in high school you learned things about the laws of physics and particularly uh, Newton's equations of motion and you're familiar with position, velocity and acceleration and velocity is a change in position and acceleration is a change in velocity. But did you ever wonder what a change in acceleration is called? Well there's a proper physics terms for it, it's called a jerk, uh, the rate of change of acceleration. And then you might wonder, well, what happens if the rate of jerk changes? Well, that has a name too, it's called a snap. And if there's a change in the snap, it's called a crackle. And you can probably guess what a change in crackle is called, it's called a pop. So <laughs> this whole series of silly terms, snap, crackle and pop, I'm sure those of you who eat breakfast cereal know where that comes from. Um, but they also have a, a set of names for a change in force. So when a force changes value, it's called a yank. And I have to read this. And when a rank yank changes amount, the amount of yank changes, it's called a tug. When a tug snap changes, it's called a snatch. And when a snatch changes, it's called a shake. These terms are so obscure that they're only very, very rarely used. But I did discover recently while looking up another video, that the concept of a, a jerk and a yank really matters to people who build railroads. And if the railroad is on a curve and the curvature suddenly changes, it can easily cause a train to derail. And I might make a video about that in another day, so I won't go into more detail now. But that's interesting. 